Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would take you along with me on a day in the life of what it's like to be a YouTuber slash influencer, if you will. I've been working for myself for the past year now, which is so absurd and so I thought I would share some tips or at least like what my schedule is like. So today I actually just had a photo shoot with my friend Claire. I'll put in a little clip or something here. It was all on film so I didn't bring my camera to like take photos. We were like climbing on a big field. That's usually something I like to do a few times a month just so that I have lots of content to sprinkle in throughout my like everyday photos on Instagram. I feel like that really helps with like having sort of like a set brand or theme like i just i really love film photos so that's something that i really enjoy doing and it definitely helps me out when i don't have like a ton of outfit photos to post on instagram regularly plus it's really fun she's one of my best friends and it's like a really like creative process to work with like a photographer that you really like share the same vision with now i'm going to get myself a breakfast burrito because i have a full day of work ahead of me and i'm very hungry so we are gonna go do that now just got my beautiful breakfast burrito from Groundwork. It has soy riso, potatoes, tofu scramble. It's so good and the hot sauce it comes with is my favorite. So I'm just gonna eat this really quick and then go home to make my own chai latte because it's cheaper and I, I just really like my own lattes. So that's uh, the plan. I just got home. This was the dress I wore for the shoot. It's from Lisa Says Ga. Some docks, but it's actually freezing today. Um, and I'm mostly staying inside for the rest of the day. So I'm going to change. Got my chai latte and now I am ready to dive in to my email inbox and tackle today's tasks. Right now I'm currently working on my scheduling for the next month as far as like when sponsored videos are coming up and what kind of videos they're going to be. I also need to write out some detailed pitches to brands on like what video concepts I would like to produce for them and if they're interested. So that is something that I need to do, which is actually where the sponsor of this video comes in because this video is sponsored by Grammarly. And if you haven't heard of Grammarly before, it is a digital writing assistant that helps 30 million people write more effectively and clearly every single day. Here's a quick walkthrough on how to download the Grammarly browser extension. It takes less than a minute. The free version of Grammarly has basic grammar and spelling suggestions, but upgrading to the premium gets you even more in-depth writing feedback on top of that, specifically vocabulary, clarity, and tone suggestions, which I really appreciate because I've always struggled with feeling confident when it comes to writing rejection emails and just general formal business emails because those can be very difficult and I never want my tone to come off as informal or rude. On the screen I'm going to show you a fake example of me writing a pitch to a candle brand about promoting their product in a video of mine and you can see how Grammarly points out some different suggestions and explanations for what I could do to improve my writing here. A clarity suggestion was to change my sentence from a passive voice to a more active voice. A grammar suggestion for the way that I spelled self-care, as well as a vocabulary suggestion for the word cool being overused. Then before I sent it, I checked it with the Grammarly tone detector, which let me know it sounded friendly, confident, and appreciative like I intended. It's so easy to download and all it does is help you. I wish I had it when I was in college writing papers all the time. That would have been amazing. But even now I write emails every single day. So it is super helpful and just makes me feel so much more confident before I click send. If you're interested, go to grammarly.com slash lindsayram to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium. And now to write some actual emails and brand pitches. And I also need to edit a video that I I filmed yesterday because yesterday I recorded for about four or five hours. I just know that that's gonna take me a long time to edit. So I might do a rough edit today and then clean it up tomorrow. Update. 
update. It is now 3 p.m. and I have been editing. I edited down three hours of footage to 23 minutes because yesterday I filmed 21 outfits for 2021 and in total, all of the time I spent was probably like four or five hours like setting up, taking down and everything, but it was three straight hours of footage. So I just went through and rough cut that, taking out all of the outtakes, all of the time of me changing or like being in my closet where there's just like dead space and trim that all down. And then tomorrow and the next day I will refine it, add the music in, add any graphics. That's typically how I like to do it. Spend one whole day filming focused on that, use all of my energy towards it. Next day editing following day finishing up exporting uploading thumbnail i could even spread that out more depending on timelines that's just a video i wanted to make so there aren't any deadlines for it but if a brand comes to me it usually takes me three days to turn around a video if i you know don't have extra time and i could do it in one day but i would be very stressed and my eyes would hurt and i used to do that all the time but i'm much better at not procrastinating these days this is very specific but if any of you are curious on how i store all of this footage and how i keep my computer running smoothly i use an ssd so a solid state drive instead of a hard drive they're much sturdier and i find that they work really fast and they break less. I can link below the one that I use, but I basically import all of my footage onto that and edit off of it. So I don't have anything on my actual computer's hard drive. That way it works faster. This is just what the SSD looks like. And then when I open it on the computer, it just looks like this folder here. And I have a Final Cut library that is active, backups to it, completed videos, and then an in-process folder for all of the footage that I then edit in Final Cut. So here's all the footage that I filmed today. I'm gonna take my ad read and add it into the folder. And then once I go into Final Cut and edit it, it will stay over here. It is 5 p.m. and I have a little errand to run right here. I got a super exciting delivery yesterday. This is the print that I ordered for Above My Bed. It is by Livia Falkaru. I am such a huge fan of her work. Like it is just such a happy print. I love the colors in it and I cannot wait to get it framed. It is not in traditional US sizing, so I have to get it custom framed, but there's a guy that I really like that I've had frame other pieces. So that is what I'm gonna run and do right now before they close. I just ate some dinner and then climbed back in bed to watch some YouTube videos and also edit this vlog that you're currently watching so that I can send it in tomorrow or the day after that same process I was talking about earlier. I've been awake since 7 a.m. and I already cannot wait to go to bed. <laughs> I am like such a homebody, especially this past year. I just... I don't know what it is. I've become a morning person and I just love getting a full night of sleep. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this a like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to check out Grammarly. The link will be at the top of my description box or go to grammarly.com slash lindsayrem to make a free account and get 20% off of Grammarly Premium. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all with some new content very soon. Bye guys. Bye.